All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another episode of the Bring the Juice. We are here with Fresno State Athletic Director Terry Toomey on the pod. We are back home in the 559. A lot to discuss. The energy is high. The boys are bopping. Fire me up. First we gonna rock, then we gonna fall, then we let it pop, don't let it go. It's so, oh, so good to be here. I mean, it's always great to be here. It's always great. It's like We've seen each other a lot lately, which I appreciate. Go dogs, as always. Um, I got to plug myself real quick, though, because I haven't got to do it on the pod. Uh, fight night, coming soon. Boxing match. Bring the juice at Table Mountain Casino. Great. Hosted by Gonzalez Boxing. I recently launched my foundation, the Juice Foundation. We got a lot of big plans we're trying to do with that. Um, really just trying to get some results out of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Excited, we're growing, Fresno State's growing, Fresno State's elevating, which we'll get into. Love it. But uh, if you haven't reached out yet to buy tickets for the boxing match, July 15th, bring the juice, Table Mount Casino, do it now. VIP experience is going to be off the charts. There might be some guest fights, which we'll get into at the end. You got <laughs> you to hear about it. It's worth hearing about. I think it's worth hearing about. But let's transition mm. real quick. Terry, big day for you. We talked about it earlier. Uh, as an athletic director, you have certain responsibilities. One of them is when there is a coach vacancy, you need to fill it. Yep. Today, you filled the Fresno State baseball coaching void. I, just talk to me about, you know, when you're doing a major hire, what are the biggest determining factors, especially yep. for, for a place like Fresno State? Yeah, I, I think anytime, and and this is Fresno State. Anytime you're hiring a coach, you have to think of it as a legacy hire. Right. I mean, we've had what? We've had Bennett. We've had Biden. We've had Batesel, all legendary guys. And yeah. now you're trying to find the next one. Right. A little bit of pressure there. Yeah. You know, a little bit of pressure. And candidly speaking, you know, that is our lone national championship on the men's side. Yeah. That we have to consider. Um just so much there. And, you know, our teams historically dominant. I mean, really great teams. We have the highest attendance in California of any institution that come to our games. Uh, so our community is into it. Uh, big deal. Yeah. You know, so when you go into it, you go into it literally like I have a responsibility to this community to get the right person here to not only run the program, but to represent the community well. Right. Well, I mean, we're, we're a very much, we've talked about it. Um, not going to judge California, but the Valley's, it's just different in its own grit aspect. Yeah. I mean, I got home late today from an onion farm. For there instance, you go. There you go. But I, I, I know what you mean. And I think, you know, in the past, obviously we, we talked about coach Tedford um, and what he's about. Yep. And you, and there's another tier of legacy coaches in there. Yep. It is a, it, I could understand how there's pressure on mm -hmm. an athletic director. Mm -hmm. And again, I, the first time you were on the pod, I gave you your flowers. I'll give it to you again. Leaps and bounds, chasing goals, chasing greatness. Life is an uphill battle mm -hmm. and you got to figure out how you're going to climb it. You're yep. doing that. Yeah. Trying, trying not by myself though. Of course. Yeah. So, but you know, on these coaching hires, does it vary on certain characteristics from sport to sport? Some of it does. Some some aspects do, but cer certain things are undeniable. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you have to be the kind of person who can identify and develop talent. Right. That is a undisputable characteristic that any of my coaches have to have. You have to be able to develop talent here in Fresno. Yeah. I mean, that is what it is because we're not going to get ready-made folks. No. And, and candidly, I'm not even sure if we want ready-made folks. Because I kind of was thinking the same thing. Right? It's kind of weird. Yeah, they, come with, they come with other appendages. Understood. you don't want. You know, you well don't said. want that. You know, you want somebody who's built the right ray inside and I can enhance that. So that piece is critical. I think, though, but they have to be aspirational. Right. They have to be the kind of person that's going to say, okay, I see where we are currently. I got to move it to the next level. And candidly, in this hire, the prop, the, the biggest challenge I had is, particularly with this guy being an incumbent, a person who had already been there. Right, internal. Internal. I got to see where you're different, bro. Right, I cannot right, right. have the same 
recipe being stirred up yes. and thinking I'm going to get a different result. Yeah. You know, I got it. You got to be a little bit of the old, but a little bit of flavor. Every game, you see it in every sport. It's yep. evolving in its own way, shape, and form. Yep. And yep. like you said, baseball itself has, they do have, they have a natty. Yeah. They have a natty. Yeah. Say what you want about any other sport. They, yeah. they do have a natty. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know how long, um, you, it's kind of like, I think about like Nebraska football for some reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nebraska football has this legacy of mm -hmm. being a great college football program. Mm -hmm. And I follow a few Nebraska football fan podcasts, busting with the boys with Will Compton's one of the biggest ones that I follow. And they kind of lost touch of that. Hey, we're Nebraska football culture yeah. and those national championships that they won. What was that? Nineties. Nineties. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like, Hey, are you still Nebraska football type thing? Mm -hmm. So, I think Fresno State baseball definitely could ride that 2008 natty for probably what at least ten more you years. Can ride <laughs> like, it, but hopefully two, you're building on it. Exactly. You want <laughs> yeah. you want a couple more appearances. Absolutely. You want to be back in the equation. Absolutely. And it's hard to win a national championship. It's yeah. hard to string together enough games like that to do it. Yeah. Um. But you know what? You know your vision. You trust yourself. Yeah. Congratulations on making the hire. Thank you. Thank you. I think of it like this. We think about all of our sports, right? Just think on the men's side, uh -huh. okay? We can win, a, we can win, we can do damage nationally on every sport, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Every sport we can do damage. Yeah. If you think about which one can elevate the fastest, and, and that's a high-profile sport, it's probably baseball. Baseball. I'd agree. Think, I mean, in terms of the resources that you need to put into it, where you play, the talent pool, right? You could, you could record, you could make. The best dudes from the valley come to Fresno State, and That's you'll it. have a great. That's it. You'll have a great every team, to be honest. You really would. Yeah, I mean, you really would. This valley per turns out so much talent. If you can keep them home, you got a chance. Yeah, you got a chance. Before we continue, you got to give a shout out to Dervo's Deli. Dervo's Deli is the premier sandwich within a hundred mile radius of Bring the Juice of Fresno State. If you haven't tried the new Game Changer, it changed the game. Check it out now, Terry. Have you ever been? To Dervo's Deli. Ask my department. My entire wow. department. I'm telling you, they love Dervo's, man. That's it's, their spot. It's the spot to be. If you're a Fresno State student, if you're a Fresno State athlete, yeah. if you're a Valley guy, if you just got through the airport and you're like, hey, I'm starving, where do I go? Check out Dervo's Deli. Get there. Get a sandwich. You'll be satisfied 100% of the time. Great. Great food. Great food. Great, great food. Great people. Great atmosphere. Go dogs. Yeah. Okay. The elephant in the room. The big thing everyone's asking, I know we've talked about it, conference realignment. Yep. It's coming up. There's the chatter. What, what, is there like a place where we stand? What are the scenarios? Is there a timeline? What What is something that you could give the, the dogs, right. the valley people, right. a clean cut right. answer of what, where are we at? Where are we at? The biggest thing that people need to recognize, and this sure. is coming from not just – uh, people in media, which is a, a, a big part of it, uh, people in the conference offices, other athletic directors at places where we think might have movement. I'll right. just put it that way. Sure. Every one of them to a person says, continue to do what you're doing. We see it. That is a big statement right. from uh, different people, right? Yeah. In terms of continue to do what you're doing, your, your, your institution is doing well. And, yeah. we, and we appreciate that. We love being in the Mountain West. Everybody understands that. Of course. But we also recognize that financially, there are some different assets that come with being at a larger place. And Thanks. so, you know, we feel as though that is really a nice compliment, but we all recognize that other movements have to take place. As a person, as a Valley citizen, what can I do? And I speak. I say that as myself, Frank Delana, host yeah. of Bring the Juice, yeah. ring announcer for the boxing event July fifteenth at Taylor Mount Casino. And I say that as a, for the people, right? Like the, the dogs fans out there listening who are right. saying, "Hey, I'm seeing all these things. We'll get into elevate in a little bit here. What what can I do to help with everything?" I, I'll put it to you this way: It's just like anything where you're growing something, right? When you're growing something, yes. In order to be taken seriously, you must be consistent. Right. Right? 
So what we did in terms of our attendance, how we performed, how we showed, how we moved, we looked like a Power Five institution, we acted like a Power Five institution, consistency. That's not a one-time thing. That's right. not something you just do one time a no. year. That's yeah. every year, every game, we need to show up and do exactly <clears throat> that. So if you're a citizen, I need you to come out and be a season ticket holder. Uh -huh. I need you to show up. I need you to talk about the dogs, good or bad. Yeah. Show passion. Yeah. Show that you care about this program and where it goes. If you do that, I promise you, it keeps us relevant. I, I love that. And I think... I'm going to bring Nebraska football back up because yeah. they've had so many down years. They've still had us had, I think they hold the world record for the longest sellout yep. in a row. Yep. Something like that. Yep, they do. It's bizarre. Yeah. Not saying we should mimic them, but I do a guy who's been on the winningest team ever in Fresno state history for football and the losingest team ever. I will say, and I've interviewed guys who have played at Bulldog Stadium at from Oregon State, San Jose, Boise, a lot of guys now at this point. Right. It's a hostile environment. Yeah, Valley is. Children's Stadium, excuse yeah, me. It but it is a hostile environment. It's it a is. hard place to play. It is. We always want the full maximum capacity at those games. Yep. Yeah. But don't get it twisted. When there's still 33,000 that show up, it's still it's still bananas. It is. It's an that ramp is hard to walk up and down. It's a little hot. Yep. People are a little loud. Yep. We're a little, you know, we kind of got this cool culture of like a mixing pot of fans and people. Yep. Because we've played, we've played against the Utah schools. We've played against the South schools. We've played against the Big Ten schools. We've played against a good spread of people at this mm -hmm. point. Fresno, you can't really put your fingerprint on it. It's just kind of like, this is who we are. Yeah. Yeah. And the more you can embrace that, I think the better. And, and I, and I, I preach this on the pod many times and Terry, you could, you could attest to this. There are what? 52 weeks in a year. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That means there's 52 Saturdays in a year. Mm -hmm. Six of them is an opportunity to go and tailgate, support your, uh, uh an institution, which is so vital mm -hmm. to our community and mm -hmm. our Valley. Mm hmm. Why not do it? Yeah. What else? What else? I really want to ask people. What? What? What else do you have to do? Yeah. Oh, I'll watch it at home. Yeah, dude, pay fifteen bucks and go watch a college football game. That's it. It's in your backyard. That's it. They're good. We're yeah. good. That's it. That's it. And and we know, as Fresno State football goes, so does our athletic department. Sure, and, of and course. To a larger extent, at times, so does our university. At yes. times, I mean, literally, as that football program moves, right. it makes a statement to not only the region but to California and to the nation of right. who we are. Yes, and it, so yeah, it's big. Of course, I'm biased, and I when I'm referring to the athletic department, I always resort back to football because I played. Um, I have some brothers that play, yeah. and I, uh, you know, say what you want, but I. It's an it's an important program in the athletic department it to keep really it is. to keep it to keep it short, it um, but as a whole, it's it's improving. And I, you know, as a man in the valley who's trying to improve things, um, doing my part, you know. Side note too, because I understand there's there's so many pieces of the puzzle that are behind the scenes that you know, it's just too many moving parts to where mm -hmm. you can't even say it on a podcast type thing. Mm -hmm. But I want to give a shout out to the Bulldog Foundation real quick Absolutely. because as a young man who is trying to figure things out, who doesn't have – I'm not the guy who can uh, write a $1,000 check, a $10,000 check, a $20,000 check. I can't I, – I don't have that capacity mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. I, I mean I'm – I get to eat every day. I have clothes on my back. I try to have fun when I can, but I'm grinding. Yeah. I'm grinding. Yeah but I want to support my university and behind supporting them is the athletic department. And that's what I want to support mm -hmm. the bulldog foundation, which basically is one of the driving sources of which will improve our athletic department. No question. They have made it available now to where if I don't have that thousand dollars, I don't have $500. Right. I could donate at a subscription type rate. Mm -hmm. And basically, if I were to tell somebody, hey, you want to support the dogs? You want to help us get to that next tier, mm -hmm. that next conference, that new stadium, whatever mm -hmm. it might be? Mm -hmm. 
this is step one. Yep. This is, this is okay. Well, I'm pushing you off the mountain a little bit here. Start here. Yep. And I tell people you could donate ten dollars a month. Yep. Ten dollars a month, one hundred twenty bucks a year. You would, you would it, you'd make it, a difference. You'd make a difference. Huge difference. You would make, and you're a part of it now. Yep. But also, how much is Netflix these days? How much is Hulu these days? How much is Apple Music these days? How much yeah. is Pandora these days? Yeah. How much is some? I'm sure everyone. Everyone has a, something. Everyone's we live, we live on our phones. Yeah. Everyone has an app. That's yeah. a couple bucks a month. Yep. A subscription. Ten bucks a month, for a lot of people out there, that's doable. Yep, absolutely. Twenty yeah. bucks a month. Absolutely. Thirty bucks a month. I made it to where, I want to donate a thousand dollars a year. I think it's like eighty bucks a month, which is almost as close to my YouTube TV bill. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I could do that. That is me going out and getting beers with the boys. Okay, maybe I take one of those days away. Or you know what? I double down. Yeah. I, I figure it out. I think it's very doable these days. Yeah. So shout out to the Bulldog Foundation. Absolutely. I, I, you know, the one thing that we talk about at the Bulldog Foundation, um, Tim Collins does a really good job of talking about this. What we're looking for is heartbeats. Yeah. We're trying to get more people. You're building an army. That's it. Yep. That's it. So we, if you're looking at some of these other institutions and say, where are we different? We, we have the firepower in terms of a lot of the major donors and all those sorts of things. We have that, right. but where, where we sometimes lose it a little bit is not the people who show up at the games. Right. We have, we're starting to have great people coming to the games, but they're what we call the annual fund. Yes. Quadruples our annual fund in terms of the heartbeats. If you wanted to raise $1,000... You could get one guy to donate a thousand dollars. You need a thousand people to donate one dollar. That's it. And I'm. I, this is not a sales pitch. Yeah. I just wanted to give you a shout out because yeah. I was uneducated about the. I was uneducated about this. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm not going to BS you. This is a unique episode to bring the juice where we get to we get to say it how it is. Oh yeah. You know no how doubt. I'm not going to BS you, Terry. No, you no, know that. You're you good know like, that. You're good like that. No, you're. Good and like that. I definitely think that it is something I think should be well known. And well aware of and understand, hey, we're trying to, we're all trying to go up. We're all trying to elevate. Yeah. How are we going to do it? Which yeah. leads me to my next question. Elevate the newest campaign vision of how we're going to chase greatness and get to that next level. Yeah. Finally. Finally. I've seen the cool videos. Yeah. I, I've seen what it should look like. I've seen what it could, should, and would look like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is, what is, what it, t take me through how we're going to get there. The, the Elevate campaign is the first master plan yeah. of the entire athletic department to right. be uh, introduced at Fresno State Athletics. First time we've ever done that. We've talked, we've had things where we talked about stadium renovations, basketball facilities, tennis all facilities, of all of that. But we've never had a plan that says, this is where the entire athletic department needs to start cultivating excellence. I mean, literally. Right. I like and how you said that. Cultivate excellence. I like that. Yeah, um, you might. You can a little use farmer reference. Yeah, you get to cultivate. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, you go. It's absolutely. I was not a cultivator today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I tell you, so so how how this thing came about was this came about by us listening right. and watching our community and saying, okay, our community deserves this. Our community aspires to this, and how can we do that in a way that gets us to where we need to go, but respectfully makes it feasible, right. makes it, you know, where it's not uh, such a huge hurdle financially where it just, you know, you can't climb that hill. We, yeah. we don't need any more of those types of situations. So that's how the Elevate campaign came about. It came about by getting a lot of people in the room to say, this is how we can grow this thing. Got to go up, do it for the long haul here at Fresno. Just yeah. like a farmer, right? Sure. Long haul. You, yes. You're playing the long game. You're not playing for short hits you're you're going to be there for a long time you know which is what fresno people are I, that's it, very well said it's generational yep. and it's one of those things where i mean you can't expect to to, to have one you can't you're not gonna have five lucky hands of blackjack in a row and, no. and, 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 and be a millionaire also. That's right. this is isn't how it goes yeah it does not work that way that's right what is okay we talked about first steps yeah. earlier what is step one 
first step, well, we've already done one step. Okay. Which is uh, the building of the uh, Whitworth Morris yes. Performance Center. Which okay. is awesome. I've that seen it. That was huge. Yeah, that was huge. So that really started to take care of athletes, less high profile could, for the most part, except for our basketball programs. Right. Basketball programs and our softball program could be high profile. But a lot of the programs that people don't recognize a lot of the times, which are great programs, our swim program, water polo, killing They're it. They're winning championships, national ranks. It. Killing it. Killing it. Three championships in a row. <sighs> right? Killing it. Ring them. Yes. And <laughs> two games away from playing for the Natty. I saw that. Right? Yeah. Two matches away. Yeah. I mean, shout yeah. out to the water polo team. No doubt. No doubt. I need that coach on here. She's a stud. Olympian. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. She's a stud. Natalie Benson. Yeah. She is I'm gonna DM amazing. Her. She's great. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> awesome. She, hey, don't worry about it. I'll just connect you. There you go. I'll just connect you. Yeah, she, I would love for her to be on here with you. Uh, but, you know, that was the first step. All right? So now we're moving towards let's start looking at the stadium. Because the yeah. reason why the stadium is important is because it is the impetus that can start generating revenue that can be spun into other places. Right, so this this off the season right now, we're hitting the suites, and the reason why we're hitting the suites are because there's incremental money that we can get out of those suites that will fund our next project, right. which will be the North End Zone project. Mm -hmm. So that's where it'll be outward facing. People will see it and they'll say, "Now I see." Right, right, right. You're seeing the people vision moving. Yes, we're moving in the right direction. It's, I mean, it's interesting to talk about. I mean, it's interesting to see. It's interesting to have a timeline and. I, We've talked about it. like people want they want to see results. Yep. They want to do what they can. Yep. I know there's a lot of details in there to make to make it work. But just the fact it's like we preach on bringing juice. Terry, you were an athlete. We'll get into that too. Mm -hmm. You got a goal, write it down. Mm -hmm. Make a plan. Absolutely. Figure out how you're gonna execute it. Everyone's got a big ass goal, right? Mm -hmm. We got these big goals, but what people don't realize is you and I shout out to Coach Andy Ward. For this amazing making a goal ladder we have these goals but what you need is smaller goals mm -hmm. that you hold yourself accountable for mm -hmm. and consistently do those accountability goals which will eventually over time all good things take time that's right will help you achieve that goal that's right that was a little wordy feels like i was writing a song there yeah, but it was dead on it accurate. Was spot on, though. <laughs> it was spot on. I mean, every, like you said, ev consistency is the key, right? It's tough you, in life, yep. in anything. Yeah, that's where you know that's where we talk about. You know, how many times have you talked? You heard about the grit, our grit. Always. Grit is nothing but bearing down and freaking getting it done. That's all it is. It makes me think, and I love this visual. It makes me think of the guy with the axe who's mining for jewels mm -hmm. and there's a guy on top who keeps hitting and hitting and hitting he gets about halfway we'll pop it up on a clip here but he gets about halfway yeah and he gives up yeah and for some reason i don't know what it is maybe it's the water out here in the valley but we just keep going and going yep. and going and knocking and knocking yep. and eventually it pops yeah it takes time and terry i mean i'm gonna be honest you you what you've Visioned, done, and executed in the time you've been at Fresno State, it's impressive. It's a, it, it's awesome to see as a as a friend, yeah. as a, an example to the athletic community, and as a professional because it's a big it's a big project, man. It it's is. a big ass project. It is. You're talking I, about yeah. legacies. Yeah, it is. But I, I have to be honest with you. Every time I think about it and look at it, I, I, the, the first thing that comes to mind is we ain't done yet. We got, we got a lot of stuff to do. We ain't done yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, I always feel as though we've still got so much to do. And I say that in a very good way. And the fact that I feel really excited about the challenges right there in front of you. Right. You know, just, just go attack it. And I got, like I said, we got tons of people working on it. Yeah. You know, um, and so when that happens, the, the, the success will be all of ours. We'll all benefit from that success. I'm kind of bouncing around here, but it made me think – about from an athlete perspective, the true competitors, they're not afraid of a challenge. No. Some people run into the fight. Some people run away to the fight. I think if you run to the fight, you, you have a better chance of, of success. <laughs> You're going to learn yeah. something. That's for damn sure. Yeah. You're probably going to end up better. Yeah. Yeah. It may, I mean, you are in a very unique scenario here. You have a athletic department 
that needs to be elevated. No pun intended. Yep. You have a football state, a football team and program that is historically impressive. Yep. That is, since you've came in, been wanting a new stadium. Mm-hmm. And then you're thrown into, and I, and I was going to ask this too, from an athletic director's occupational standpoint, you have bullet points on what the job entails. How often is 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 confidence realignment in that in, in there? It's a it's a it's a every twenty year thing. Yeah, yeah. So you kind of got the trifecta of new facilities, new conference. Yep. What was the other one I was saying? You said conference realignment. Conference realignment, new facilities, new facilities, success of the programs. I, I would say success of the programs. I would just say. In it, you're trying to just elevate the the yeah. the, the funding as well as what, on top of But it. one of the bigger ones that that we didn't talk about, and I think about it all the time. Sure. Student athlete well being. I love that. You, uh, they, love that. You, they. You it's can, huge. You, it's it is. It's, the it's everything. It's the difference maker. It is the difference maker. Everything. It I is. And, and before you go into that, I give so much kudos to Coach Tedford for so many reasons. Yes, he's winning all this stuff. He turns young men into successful adults. Yep, yep. And if you're a parent of a of a child who is trying to figure out where to send their kid to play football, I don't know what else you need to know. Yeah. Yeah, we win. Yeah, we have a great crowd. Yeah, we have a great atmosphere. Our jerseys are pretty badass. Yeah. I got I got some rings to freaking show it. Yeah. You want your son to someday be successful because of the influence of his of of the of the man steering that ship. So you again, great hire on that part by oh, the way yeah. too. Oh, yeah. But you know, how foreign is to have that trifecta of all those things. You got your you got your work cut out. It's for a you. unique time period for, right. for anybody who's in college athletics. Do you see it though as and I'm just thinking, I don't even I couldn't name very many athletic directors right now. It's a weird. It's a title where it's not like a. It's not like a Nick Saban. Yeah. It's not like a, a, Ch- a Chip Kelly or whatever the hell it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's kind or, or Jeff Tedford or yeah. Pat Hill. Yeah. It's not kind of a known category for the average sports fan, sports user, or something like that. You're kind of you kind of like in the lineman category of yeah. you don't give very much credit. Yeah. But yeah. you're doing a. Sh- a shit time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People seats. know who you are. You know. You know the thing is, you're absolutely right. I do feel a lot like the position I played in college. You, you're taking on double teams. You're don't tying a lot things of up. You don't get a lot of credit, but you're doing your job. But you do your job, and you see the success. And those who are with you understand and appreciate your efforts. That's why I keep always go back to my staff and the other people that work with me, is because right. we're all in that in that ship. You know, we're all jumping on the boat. We're all there. And candidly, all my coaches, you know, who are kind of the at the forefront of it. Of course. Well, yeah, they, all appreci- they all appreciate it. Yeah. They all say the same thing. They all love the staff and appreciate what we do. So it makes the, the work easy, you know. In your time of playing football at UCLA and you have these colossal challenges. And I, I'm going to I'm going to cut the shit here real quick, too. Like. When you're football, ball is ball. Mm-hmm. This you're dealing with. You're dealing with cities. You're dealing with big financial numbers. Mm-hmm. You're dealing with pressure. You're dealing with outside noise. Mm-hmm. A lot of factors. What would you say is one of the core principles from the sport of football that has helped you stay true through this process? Resiliency. Explain. I would say that when you're in football. So many, you have 90 plays. A lot of adversity. <laughs> so, and you probably, if you're scoring, you probably score maybe four times on the, on the offensive side, right? And that's sure. a high scoring game. There's so many plays in that where you're either going to have positive out, outcome, a negative outcome happens all the time, and how you respond to those outcomes truly is what defines who you are. Right. Every sport has that. I had it in football. You have it in wrestling. You have it in basketball. You have it in baseball. You have it in softball, any sport, volleyball. Right. You always have that. So learning how to be resilient 
and then be able to rise up from a negative situation or coming back from a successful and doubling down on it. I love that. Doubling down. That is huge. Being able to capitalize. Because at the end of the day, you don't just want to def- to win something. You want to defeat something and just dominate it. Absolutely. You know, that's what you want to do. That, we, we try to teach that. that hunger. Yeah, you try to teach that. You know, so so to me, that's what I kind of learned in football. And, and kind of it helped me because I'm never going to be the first to say, I'm never going to be the strongest. I'm never going to be the prettiest. I'm never going to be the smartest. I'm never going to be any of those things. But what you can't take about, away from me is the fact that when you knock me down, I'm going to come back up. I love that. That's what I am, man. <laughs> are you a, are you a David David Goggins guy at all? Am I what? David Goggins. You familiar with David Goggins? I've, I have not. I've not heard of David Goggins. Uh oh! Wow! Wow! Is this going to be big check for him me? Out. Is this going to be out. big for me? No, I'm not going to. Yes, it is going to be big. For okay, me. someday. Okay, but um, all I'm just thinking Hit about me with it. It, it. We'd have like to, I'd have to have like a two hour podcast to explain <laughs> David Goggins. We'll talk about it later. Okay. But. All I one thing I want to brush on is the way you said double down because it's one thing to continue to getting knocked down and getting back up. Yeah. And I'm used to that too. Yeah. It's honestly all I knew at one point mm-hmm. was you keep getting doubted and you you silence the doubters. Yep. F the haters. Yep. And then you hit a point though where maybe you're doing okay. And there's a very thin line to being complacent with where you're at. No doubt. Versus saying, okay, I'm here. Nobody's mad at me. I'm doing good. I'm this. I'm the, Maybe I'm the starter. Maybe I'm comfortable with my job because I had a little yep. bit of success. I know I got a little cushion here. My expectations aren't that high. How do I re... We talked about goals earlier. Mm-hmm. How do I rewrite those goals even bigger, mm-hmm. even bigger, mm-hmm. even bigger? Mm-hmm. And that is a... As a man is very difficult because you have to, that takes some Mm self-reflection that takes you. And I don't know how you do things Terry, but Mm -hmm. that takes me, I I drive 200 miles a day. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's in silence. That takes me. I'm thinking, man, I got a notepad next to me. I'm writing down notes and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming. How can I bring the juice better? How can I do this better? How can I make this boxing match? Like Floyd Mayweather is fighting Manny Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. What can I do to be the best version of myself I can possibly be. And that's much easier said in a podcast talking about it than doing it. Mm -hmm. I've Mm -hmm. checked myself many times where I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, things are going good. We're at this number of followers or listeners or whatever the hell it is. We sold this many hats per week. Okay, how do I double it? How Mm -hmm. do I triple it? How do I get to that next tier? Yeah. Yeah. And like anything, it is, it's you for, at the end of the day, it's you versus you. Yeah, it is. It is. As cliche as it is, put it on a freaking hoodie, put it on a freaking poster in the back of your office yeah. or in the roof of your gym when you're bench pressing. Yeah. It is you versus you. If yeah. you got that dog in you and that want to and that will to succeed, it's tough. It's 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 doable, but it's tough to have that that talk in the mirror and say, Hey, we need to double down. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet you you've done this. I, I do this all the time. I bet you. I bet you we all have done this. I yeah. know. I know you've done it. You ever kind of go to sleep at night and you kind of say, "Okay, I've had a long day. I'm I'm reflecting. I'm going." And you go to sleep, and then at some point you kind of wake up and you, you say, you start thinking about something. You're like, "Why am I laying down? I need to get up." Oh, last night. You know, <laughs> last night. I, I got. I got the, what am I doing? I, last I, night. I, you know, what I mean, you you're, you said I got to get up. I got things to do. What am I doing? That happens to me all the time. Yeah. You know, to where I can't sleep because I feel as though I got something I need to get done. And I'm trying to figure out, just like you're saying, how do I get better? You know, how do, and maybe not me, maybe not, you know, how do I get somebody else in a position to be better? You know, how do I make this work? And 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 it's like, you can't turn it off. No. And it's, I want to say it's a, uh. It's a blessing and a curse in, in some instances. Yeah. I can't yeah. sleep or crap or some nights. But yeah. I have a notebook next to my bed. I'm writing things down. I The wheels are turning. I mean, my my family, my wife, they make fun of me. They don't make fun of me, but they, they kind of give me crap because I'm always coming up with new in, new inventions, new ideas, yeah. new things. You know, I had my first – I had my golf tournament in February, and 
it was a it was a new thing for me. Yep. Um, when I finished it and learned, I said, okay, that was awesome. We're gonna have a second annual. It's gonna be great. Hopefully, it doesn't rain that day. Yeah. But what's next? Mm-hmm. And I wanted to challenge myself. So this boxing match, a lot of a lot of red tape, a lot of things coming with it. But it is it's the next mountain I need to climb. It's huge. I understand that I'm I'm rent I'm I'm 26 years old. I'm renting out a casino. Yeah. And hoping to fill it with a thousand people, fifteen hundred people who want to contribute to watch twenty freaking USA boxing sanctioned fights and support my new nonprofit, the Juice Foundation. Yeah. And maybe they have a good time with a couple of cocktails along the way and lose yeah. blackjack that night. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. how how it, it it's it takes a lot out of you, man. Yeah. It takes a lot. And, and people who are coming, I'll be coming and have a kick-ass time. Yeah. Yeah. But I have no, there is no committee. There's no board. It's me, man. It's me with Excel sheets and notepads and calling people from Korea trying to get, you know, belts and shit. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm all <laughs> over the place. But I I doubled down. Yeah. I knew how much it's going to cost for me to put this on yeah. with Gonzalez Boxing. Shout out to Gonzalez Boxing. There you go. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting my gut. I'm trusting my gut. I'm trusting bring the juice will grow off this. Yeah. I'm trusting that the net proceeds will help certain pro youth athletic programs that could use a little pick me up. They could use a little new equipment, which I've been in situations. I'm sure everyone here in situations where you could be like, Hey, this boxing gym has a, uh, you know, there's 50 kids here, but there's yeah. only 10 boxing gloves. Yeah. Let's see yeah. if we could change that. That's a small example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I love it. Anyway, I love it. I'm, I, I got to get a couple of tickets to that. I got to buy a couple. Of tickets. Yeah, 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 we'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> Before we continue, got to give a quick shout out to the American Pistachio Growers. If you want to perform like the pros, eat your pistachios, eat those nuts, kids. I don't know about you, but as the athletic director, I think there should be pistachios in every locker room we love have. Them. The one of the best sources of protein you could possibly get. Um, I know the football team eats a lot of them. That's one of the reasons they ended up as Mountain West champions, bowl game champions, and finished ranked. My brother actually just showed me the rings that are coming out. You like that? They're sweet. They're, they're kind of gaudy. They're kind of nice. <laughs> they're kind of gaudy. I'm a little, I'm a little pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'm they're not going to lie. They're a little yeah. bit nicer than yeah. mine-ish. Yeah. They're, they different. It, they're, they're different. They they're different. They're different. They earned it. Gritty. They earned Gritty. They earned it. They, but, yeah. uh, Anyway, shout out to the pistachio growers. Yeah, man. that's awesome. I uh, no nah, man, they're they're great. I, I I they're great. Yeah, no, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Anyways, outside, you know, and I again, I'm just thinking. We have talked about plans. We've talked about you know the money side and how yeah. that needs to go up. Outside of that itself, what would you say? You know, let's say let's say money is not a problem now. Okay, what's your big? What's the biggest hurdle? To get that stadium redone, is it is it a city thing? Is it is it really just like hey, we just need the green light and, and we're and the boats are shipped? Well, here's here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, money is the biggest issue. We all know that. More right? money, more problems. We know no that. no doubt. But the other component of it is, you know, to get a stadium moving. Remember, that's a that's a CSU piece of property right right you know so you have to go through the bureaucracy of that now there's some, there's some red tape there's there. some red tape and, and you know what after doing this boxing you know what Boy, red tape feels do like. i mean yeah. know what tribal committees <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what it feels like but you know that's why it's important that's why you always have to kind of give that you know pay homage to the, the to everybody who's kind of helping you do this thing because it ain't it's not Mom. just one person yeah <laughs> you know you got an administration you got you know, people in your planning committee, your right. finance committee, you've got your board of trustees. I mean, the board of governors of Fresno State, they're behind this. Good. You know, that says a lot. You know, that says... That's big! Yeah. And, and the, the reason why everyone's behind it is because they see it as a vehicle for it the is. university. It is. For the university. I think it's a vehicle for the... And, and, and the university, at the end of the day, it's, it's a vehicle, it's an asset to the valley. No doubt about it. Especially Fresno. Cause, and I'm, I'm not talking crap on Bakersfield, but you know what? Bakersfield's got a good little thing going down on no there. Doubt. No doubt. They don't have Fresno State football. Though. No. No. And I think if they did have a 
maybe some sort of a football team. Yeah. Maybe this conversation, maybe we never got David and Derek Carr. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're because it's in their backyard. That's no doubt. It's more of a hometown. Yeah. It is critical that we strike while the iron's hot. And I don't think with this conference realignment, with the stadium, with this, that, the other, the university being on the uprise, I don't think there is a situation in Fresno State history, in Valley history, yep. where this university has a hotter iron to strike. No doubt. I mean, it is the perfect time. And, and think about it. We're, we're kind of the beneficiaries of it. Right. Let's start it back with Coach Sweeney, man. Oh, no. You know? It, it always is. Yeah. I mean, you go back to Coach Sweeney, Coach Hill. I mean, DeRuder. I mean, he, all of it. Teddy. They I all mean, get all their flowers. Yeah, they all every, get flowers. All of them kind of got this thing moving. You know what I mean? So I always think about that. You know, it's like when we look at that ring of honor up up at, at the stadium, at Valley Children's Stadium, that right. ring of honor has a lot of important people on there It's got now. some dudes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what needs to happen next, though. What? Needs to be a defense person on there. That's not even, there's no defensive people on there. What's up with that? We've got to work on that. <laughs> Who do you... I'm trying to think. I'm not going to say a word, man. You got to think, first. Of, you gotta think first. about the defensive people who could be on that ring of honor. I got one guy who hasn't been on the podcast yet. Good looking dude. He's from Kalinga. His name's J.D. Williams. Oh, he's amazing. My guy. It's my guy. Amazing. I gotta get him on the pod. Amazing. But all right, foreshadowing. We'll let it slide for now. Uh, it, it's you know, but we have to start thinking about it in I, that I'm way. All in. You know, I'm all in. we we that ring of honor, man. When it you look something. up, the, ooh, heavy, heavyweight, heavy. Talk to me about out of conference game scheduling. Hmm. And I asked this from a uh, guy interviewing you. Yeah. Yeah. Because. And a guy who's played, and it's like, yeah. oh, crap, we play – yeah, we play Washington and Alabama this year. Or we play Nebraska this year. We play Minnesota this year. How do – is there a, you know, is there a meeting where everyone says, hey, we want to go? Do you just reach out? I reach out. I, I Myself and a couple of individuals, we reach out and we, we strategize. A series? You, you want to – yeah. What we want to do is, if you notice, we're trying to get away from um, – we understand the value of Fresno State. Of course. I understand the value of what uh, the product means to this community. And I'm trying to bring quality opponents to Fresno. That's hard. Because they know if they come here, it may not be a happy time. They know it's a competitive Is place that to why play. it's so hard? It's hard. It's hard to get people to come here to play. Because they know, like you said earlier, I mean, you walk through that gauntlet. You walk through that gauntlet down the hill. You think? You think? You, I talked to. It's different. What the hell is his name? Uh, man, um, the Oregon State stud, two Jack Coletto. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I interviewed Jack Coletto, and we talked about a bunch of good stuff. Great dude. Mm-hmm. He's not, the Niners somehow picked him up. Yeah, I have no doubt he's going to be like a twelve-year NFL player yeah. stud. Yeah, the next like Taysom Hill. I don't know, but. I asked him, I said, hey, man, last question. You know, I, I, I played at Fresno. My brother's at Fresno. I know you came to Fresno. I was like, talk to me about that game. And he's like, first of all, he's like, I'm sorry. That was a, that was a tough one for you guys. Yeah. He said, but that place was insane. <laughs> yeah. It was that atmosphere. He goes, you couldn't have asked for a better atmosphere to play yeah. in. Yeah. And, but I said, I said, do you think Oregon State would want to come back and play at Fresno? And he goes, he goes, he already, hell no, He already man. told me. They you do not me. want to come. When was the last time they came? When we tore the goalpost down? That's exactly right. Guess what? What were they ranked? Top uh, 10? Uh, yeah, yeah. And what happened? Yeah, exactly. Schmacked. But here's the thing. The reason why that game happened, relationships. Scott Barnes, their athletic director, Yep, he's a bulldog. So. <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's why they came back. What? I mean, that's an awesome thing. Did you have, so is it yeah. like a, do you have a, in your itinerary, do you yeah. have a week in the year where you say, hey. I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna hit up. You know, Mississippi State. Oh no! Yeah. I want. I, or 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 do you vigilant? It, We're doing it all the time. Constantly. We're constantly shooting your at, shot. Because to look at possibilities. I feel like it's such a fun position to be in as the AD here because, yeah. and I just know this from a player's perspective. Like, you go to some of these schools. I know as an under ranked school, however you want to call it. Yeah. We benefit from it regardless. Yeah. Obviously, but at the same time, it's like. Okay, but 
what if we win? That's right. Like how many times you've, I mean, you've heard it all yeah. the times. Yeah. We got, someone got last year, they got paid $1.2 million to go play a school. Yeah. Oh, and we won by the way. That's you, it. you paid us 1.2. It's awesome. And you took an L. And you took an L. An embar- it. It's yeah. not even embarrassing at this point because college football, Terry, you know this, like transfer portal makes it totally different. The whole, the game's changing. Totally different. Again, we're constantly okay. evolving. Yeah. Totally but different. I think, uh, you know, that, that's that got to be a unique thing as a Fresno State athletic director because yeah. it's not – not going to throw shade at San Jose State, but, like, it's not – it's it's a little different. It's different. I would, I, I would give uh, a tip of the hat to Boise, too. Like, they've earned that also. They have. They, they have, have earned that also. They have. I would say out of all of the group of five teams, um, Boise and Fresno are probably for sure top five. We're, we're road f- warriors, man. You don't want to play us. No. And, and the thing about this, a perfect example. We're – in two years, we're playing Michigan. Sure. Okay, Ward Manuel. Good, I'll be there. Good friend. Good friend, Ward Manuel. Love him to death. It's a, it's a, we're there once though and it's done, right? We're, it's we're like there the Bama once, deal. Okay. done. 1.8. Almost $2 million payday. Good for the university. Good for the university. Good for the athletic department. Good. Good Good for the athletic. But, but that, that t- that's one of the paydays you'll take. Sure. But I will, I would reverse that and say, if you told me that I could do a two for one, and I could get somebody here in Fresno. Do it all day. I'd do it all day long. I can get Iowa State here. TCU. If I could get TCU to come here, all day long. Is there any, you could say this or not, is there any on the fence right now? Any big games on the fence right now? <sighs> right now, the the one game that I know uh, we've been working on, we have to uh, talk to Jeff about it, is uh, I know Tulane okay. is a possibility to come yep. here. Um, we've... We've secured Texas Tech. We've secured Kansas in future years. Um, Damn, these are so far in advance. Yeah, yeah, they're they're crazy. Uh, I would really like to get Arizona here. U of A. I would love to get U of A. Slap here. around. Some oh, I would love slap you know, them around I would a little love, bit. Love you know to. They get poop them. their pants. <laughs> U of A, I, you'd poop your pants. I, I love, you want to get you want to get folks who uh, see you like them. Yeah, you know, and Arizona sees us like that. Washington State sees us like that. You know, Oregon State already slapped sees them us around like now. Yeah. See, there you go. Um, but but you want to get some of those folks because you know that they may entertain it. I mean, I loved it when Minnesota came. Yeah, that was great when Minnesota came. That was oh, that was game. awesome. That was awesome. I was on. I went to. I was played in both those. Yeah, those were dramatic ass games. Man. Yeah, they had yeah. ended up having a great year. Yeah. And they PJ, ended up five in the country. No doubt. PJ Flex, awesome. And you know what? He was at the Niners as a wide receiver when I worked when I was in scouting. Wow. Here. Yeah. So I've Small known PJ world. a long time. Yeah, he's a good man. Good man. This might hit hard to home here, but what kind of deal would it take for UCLA to make it? Should they come to Fresno State? They. I would love for them to come. Have you shot your yeah. shot on that? Many times, all the time. What do they say? I've asked for a three for one. With so them. if you go to, <laughs> you say, "Hey, you say, I will play you three times, one time." What's their response? It's not. It's not. It's not worth it for us. They're running from that fade. It's not worth it for us. That's exactly. I mean, and you played football, you say. So I oh, know yeah. this is personal for you. I yeah. understand in a good way, but I genuinely, what. Like yeah, a five for one, uh, I've, seven for I've one. I said three for one. I mean, three, three for games, one is crazy. Three games. That hey, means hey, I, let's. Hey, you should like, come on, man. Three hey, games. Come on, now. Come on. Come on uh, now. That means I'm turning down money three times. How many? How many? How many, uh, how many in a row is it right now? Is it five? It's uh, four or five. Definitely four. I know it's. I think it's five. Well, I've been here for two. I played in one and my brother played in the other. So I've been for your two. I've been here for your two. Yeah. And then I think it was two before that, right? Still. It's enough. It's 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 not even a thing now. It's Oh, it's a thing. I mean, you know what I mean though. It's not like it's uh one of the best you know, things I heard it was before the last UCLA game and Kurt Herbstreet. Yeah. Where they were all they're all doing their college game yeah. day picks. And UCLA, it was early in the year, and they're doing their, oh, you know, you know they got this quarterback. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Kurt Herbstreit goes, hey, man. Hey, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys don't want to play for yeah. State. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There is no way. Yeah. Is it Brian? It's Brian Kelly? Chip Kelly. It's Chip, Chip Kelly. Chip. There is no way Chip Kelly. An amazing coach, by the way. 
really good. Good for him. Yeah, basically. There is no way the next yeah. time they play Fresno State, he could, they are not saying, listen, <laughs> I can't stand these guys right now, yeah. man. Yeah. We yeah. need to get a win against yeah. these dudes. I will. He, no doubt. Crazy. No doubt. But you know what? The, the reason why it's so big, and, and I'm, I'm not just saying this because, yeah, I went to UCLA. So I'm very, I'm a, I'm sure. a UCLA guy. Good. I am. Good. But I'm a, I'm a dog. You Don't get dog me wrong. I'm a dog. dog I'm a dog. But, you know, the reason why is because anytime you play one of those premier programs, right. it, it, it does, and, and you have the opportunity. All you're looking for is opportunity. That's all you can all ask for in life. For. In life, that's all, all you can want. ask for. And the fact that Fresno State has capitalized on opportunity, that's what feels good about it, you know? You could only play the opponent in front of you. That's it. I mean, and I, and I know you're the guy making yeah. pieces of the schedule, but, like, Try you can. Yeah. That's all you could do. And Trying. and there's going to be teams who – I mean, there's teams where uh, I think we could have beat if yeah. if it was the year before. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. But I, you know, that's what makes sports great, yeah. man. Should have, would have, could have, yeah. did it, didn't. Yeah. So, so you gotta, but you gotta adjust. <laughs> you gotta yeah. adjust. That's but, all. It but is. I will say this: as sweet as that UCLA, those UCLA wins are, the Washington State game was sweet. All of that. I have never been around a game like Boise. that. San, well, no, San Diego, the San Diego State game. I've that, that never was been around anything like that. That's crazy. That. that was insane. That was crazy. This last season, that was insane. That was that was. I've never been. You know what's crazy? Like I knew it was gonna happen the entire. Did time. you really? I said we're gonna. We're gonna oh I, man! I, the writing was on the wall. Oh, it was on the wall. Oh, the Boise games are always special. I, I love the Boise's Boise coming games. back this year. Yep, couldn't yep. be more excited. Yep. I the first time we played Boise. Yeah, the first time we played Boise, they came to. I played Boise at least was we played them at home. It was the day game. Yeah, and we beat the shit out of them. Yeah. And we thought the game was for who would host that Mountain West Championship. Mm-hmm. As a team, that was what, that was our mm-hmm. impression. Mm-hmm. And we were like, "Dude, we're gonna win this. And it's gonna be at home next week." And I think they changed the rule. They did. They something. changed the rule. Yeah, but uh, didn't work out that way. Jeff still has a. He talks about that all the time. It's bullshit. Yeah, I'll it's still horrible. talk about it. It's my podcast. It's horrible. It's bullshit. Yeah, he was horrible. I. That was the most lit game at Bulldog Stadium yeah. I've ever been a part of yeah. from a Fresno State. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. when Keyshawn scored the touchdown and got a 50 yard penalty for ripping all his helmet helmet off. I was like, holy shit, man. Like yeah. this place is rocking. Awesome. Rocking. Awesome. Yeah. If you're a recruit there, yeah. automatically committing, yeah. not yeah. even close. I, I, I I'll tell you I'll tell you a way that I I've recognized, you know, we always deal with media. Yeah. One of the ways you know Fresno State is moving up in terms of how they're thinking about it, they just released our schedule this this year. I saw that. Just rece- released it. None of our home games are have been moved to a Friday night. Yeah. Every home game is a Saturday night game or a Saturday game. That's big. big. Everyone else in our conference has Friday night home games at some point. We're the only one that has all Saturday nights. Because they know we'll throw down on Saturdays. They know what that looks like here at Fresno. That says a lot about I love that. where you're moving to. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's huge. All right. I got two more questions. I asked okay. Ted for this. Okay. You didn't play at Fresno State like Tedford did. No. Nope. It's okay. We accept you, Terry. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank but you. But thank you. I have a little bit of a pact going with my brothers. And it's kind of a wild card here. Mm-hmm. But the Valley V, how committed are you to it? Very. Would you get the Valley V cattle branded on you? Yes. You heard it here first. I'd do that. It I do that. might go down after the What did Jeff season. say? He said it's not a no. I'd have to have a lot of hey, courage. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 But I'd do it though. Oh, what? I do it. I'm just saying. This is crazy. I People do are it. Gonna, I might get some crap for this. It was a dream to play football at Fresno State. Yeah. I'm so blessed that my brother and now my other brother get the opportunity. Yeah. We said if all three of us do it, we said this was like, like five years ago. Not talking shit on tattoos. We're not. We're, we're fine, boys. I'm we're not, not tattoo tattoo. guys. I'm not either. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't but we that. said, 
we'd get the Valley V branded on us. Where? I undecided, but all I'm hearing, let's go back to Kirk Herb Street for a second. You know how much I would love. This is crazy. This is out of pocket. It's a po- it's my podcast. I can say it right. Yeah. Well. I would love for Kirk Herb Street to be like, yeah. Fresno State's up 21 nothing on UCLA in the second quarter. You see that Valley V on the right bicep? <laughs> That's some gritty tradition they do down there in the Valley. I don't know what it is. I said it too quick. I think I said the yes too quick. But it's okay. I, but I th- it's it was okay. in my heart, Don't though. feel pressured. It was in my heart. It was in your heart. It was my. I, I just said it was Hey, in we'll my see heart. how things go. But hey. I'm just saying, Yeah. we're going to do it. Yeah. So you could either be there or have some. But there has to be something to it. Like, Oh, no. There's going to be something to it. It's gonna be. It's gonna mean you're a part of something. It's gonna be a brotherhood. I'm with I, that. I'm with that. I just think it would be. It, I think it fits us. I think it fits yeah. us. I want to see Jeff do it. I think I could get Jeff to do it. I'll get Coach Tedford to do really? it. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna get Pat Hills. Old Pat Hill will do it all. Do it. Pat Hill. I don't even think there's a hesitation with Pat. I haven't had Pat on the pod yet. I gotta have Pat on the pod. You, you, there would not be any hesitation. No, I'm gonna ask him. I but I had I, I wrote it out of my notes because I remember I asked Ted for that. I had to ask you it. Yeah, Pat Hill would not hesitate. I am I I could see myself doing it. There gotta be something with it though. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay. My last question. I saw right. this on a video sent to me today. I have to I have to ask because I think it's a badass debate. Okay. All right. Are you a bowler? Bowling. No. Me either. Okay. Would you bet? Okay, not bet, but would you rather? I'm in the NCAA. I don't. I bet. understand. <laughs> would you rather uh, get? Let's say. Let's say we're just human beings. Okay. okay? We're human beings on planet Earth. Human okay. A, human B. Okay. Would you th- rather bowl? Have one month to bowl a perfect game for a hundred million dollars, or? Just take one million right now. Wow. A hundred. Wait, say it again. You get one month. All you have to do, bowl, you have to bowl a perfect game. Believe in myself, but bowl a perfect game. Hundred million dollars, or right now today, one million dollars. What would you do? How many times have you been bowling? <laughs> I've, I, I've I've only been bowling maybe ten times in my life. Probably haven't done it in 10 years. The competitor in me and the, the uh, you won't, you won't, wants me to go for the $100 million. I knew you were going to say that. But the fact I want to donate more to the Bulldog Foundation That's, see, makes me say, let's just take the million. I could take the million and do so much with it. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a good. It's a good debate, though. I love. I watched it earlier today, and yeah. I was like, "This is this is awesome. how many." I wonder how many people would take the hundred million. I think if you've ever bowled over like one eighty five, then you you'd be like, "I could do that." If I just lock in, I can't. You don't. You just have to bowl. But it's not like saying, uh, "Hey, I'll pay you a hundred million if you get a hole in one in a week." Yeah, that's a little different because if it's a if it's one hundred out and I'm hitting. You know, maybe a hundred balls. Let's call it a hundred balls an hour for twelve hours a day. That's a thousand two hundred balls a day for thirty days. One of those is going in. Yeah. Have you ever hit a hole in one? I've only been golfing for like thirteen months. Oh, okay. You're a golfer. I have clubs. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not a golfer at all. I've never hit a hole in one. Yeah. I've. Um, I'm not good at that type of stuff, to be honest. Yeah. I'm not good at pool. I'm not very good at. I've never hit a dartboard unless it's like five feet away. But yet you feel like you can bowl a perfect game. A match I think I'd take the bowl. million bucks. You I'd know take, what we used to do at Fresno State? I take actually, the million bucks. This is the more awesome. we talk about, the more I take the million bucks. Absolutely. Yeah. I we used to after uh, Fresno State wins, we'd have a little soiree with the team, <laughs> and late night, this buddy of mine, good buddy, he had a he had corks of wood in his backyard. Okay. And I don't know where the hell he's from, but he had these badass tomahawks. And it'd be like four in the morning, and we'd just be slinging tomahawks to old country music. Really? And I, I'm talking like 30 yards out. Like, like, this is some 
This is this is some you, shit, man. Yeah, that's a thing now. You know these all that axe throwing and all that. Axe throwing has become big. Yeah, that's big. It's it's been awesome. Uh, it, that that was awesome, and I tried it. I don't know. I just couldn't find the right corks of wood. When they kept ricocheting back to me every time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'd probably go with a million bucks too. I'm not very skilled at those type of things. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, you know, thirty bucks is a lot to me right now. So no doubt. Hey, hey times are tough, Terry. Hey. 10 bucks though. 10, 10 bucks. bucks. 10 bucks a month make a difference for the Blog Foundation. That's right. Support your dogs. Support Terry Toomey with his plans. Elevate. Bring the juice. Boxing July 15th. Table Mount Casino. Juice Foundation. Good things. Big things. Better things. Terry, before I wrap it up, anything you want to say to our viewers? First and foremost, I'm just thankful for this platform. God. I am so thankful. Don't make me cry. I am, I'm just telling you. It just means a lot that you invite me here and just allow me just to to just talk. I that's appreciate huge. you. That's, appreciate that's, you. I, that means a lot to me. Um, I I do want everyone. I, I want everyone to understand how special a gift Fresno State is. It is. I just want people to just realize that it is a special place, and that um, don't take your gift for granted. Just well said. just. Believe in what we're doing. Believe in where we're trying to go. You can have an opinion and say we're not doing it right. No that's problem. okay. That's that's totally fine. That's you're right. But just be involved. Be engaged. Be a part of it. Amen. Go dogs. Fire me up. Get your piss hot this week. Be, first, be sure to subscribe. Unsubscribe. Resubscribe. To bring the juice. Five stars. Reviews. Support the dogs this year, by the way. Go to Absolutely. a game. Go to a Check game. it out. Hey. Volleyball coach, amazing. Don't forget. Amazing. Don't forget. There's a lot of sports out there besides football. No doubt. Save Art Center, they're electric. Absolutely. Go get you some beer. Go get you a quesadilla, some chicken tenders. Absolutely. Have an night out with the fam. Get reckless with it if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Be cool with it if you want yeah. to, depending on the day of the week. But the dogs are on top. It's dogs by 90 all year. We'll see you at the top of the mountain where the championships are won. Absolutely. Bring the juice. Fire me up. See you next week. All right. Thank you so much.